Uh, thanks, Tony. Our state government has demonstrated a strong commitment to regional Western Australia. This is evident in the support provided to improve the social and economic standing of our regions. We've seen a large amount of private sector investment in our mineral and resources industries. Major infrastructure upgrades are coinciding with this investment in priority areas such as transport, communications, schools, hospitals and housing. A wide variety of Midwest and Geraldton companies are successfully engaged in supporting mineral and energy projects both within the region and throughout the state. The state government recognised that if local business is to benefit from this elevated level of economic activity, we must be aware of its needs in terms of maintaining and upgrading competitive capacity and ensure that viable suppliers are provided with the opportunity to participate. It is for these reasons that I welcome the opportunity to become a member of the Minister for Regional Development and Lands Parliamentary Regional by local working group, which Tony just mentioned. Um, and it's interesting to look at the makeup of that committee, which I'll touch on for a moment. It was chaired by John Bowler, probably quite a few of you know John Bowler, um, who's an ex-Labor Party independent national from Kalgoorlie. Vince Gatania, who's an ex-Labor formal, formal national from the Northwest. Peter Watson, who's uh, the Labor member for, uh, for Albany. And myself, a Liberal from Geraldton. Um, so it's important to note we had no trouble making that a bipartisan committee. Um, and we've even got members who have been members of other parties. I reckon that's about as bipartisan <laughs> as you can be. Uh, this group investigated the challenges and opportunities facing regional businesses. One of our major focuses was to ensure local business had the opportunity to supply local government agencies and major resource projects. Our report was submitted to Cabinet. I'm pleased to say that a number of actions designed to support medium, small to medium sized enterprises in regional Western Australia were instigated. Importantly, our work on local content in resource projects contributed to Minister O'Brien launching the West Australian Government Local Industry Participation Framework last year. The framework contains 10 initiatives designed to maximise local sourcing. Consequently, the State Government is now engaging in strong dialogue with project proponents on the requirement to provide full, fair and reasonable opportunities to local suppliers to work on major projects underway in the State. Over $22.6 billion of publicly announced contracts have been awarded by WA Resource Projects to locally based business since July 2011 which marked the launch of the WA Industry Participation Framework. One example of recent contracts awarded include an $8.5 million contract to GCO Electrical in March 2012 by Carrara Mining for the Carrara Iron Ore Project. In terms of local sourcing, this project estimates that it's running at over 90% Australian content. This is estimated at over $150 million. We're also talking to the Commonwealth Government about their need to respond to change market conditions and also engaging closely with suppliers. Another is initiative that is, is the very successful Industry Facilitation and Support Program which was launched in October last year. This program provides a financial boost of up to $25,000 to improve the capability of suppliers working or entering the resources industry and it's for areas such as marketing and promotion, temporary expert assistance for pre-qualification, improvements to internal business infrastructure and for specialist training. So far 132 applications for assistance have been received with 40% of these applications coming from the regions. Outcomes delivered so far include greater competitiveness, productivity gains and an increased flow of contract awards, which is a good outcome. This, frame, this workshop is another framework initiative and is the first of six workshops which will be held in the regions. The working group found that regional businesses is uh, often not aware of the assistance state and federal government agencies can provide in terms of either policy setting or specific programs. Consequently, we recommend that gatherings such as this be initiative, initiated in regional centres to improve the local understanding of what programs are available to underpin business activity and how to access it. So this afternoon you will hear from a number of state and federal government agencies 
about how we can assist your business, its competitiveness and performance. You'll also be briefed on the procurement and contracting models used by one major resource company and state purchasing agencies, as well as hear about the positive experience of one local company which received assistance through the industry facilitation and support program, which I'm very pleased to announce will once again open for applications, I think on October the 15th, uh, and this round of the industry facilitation and support program will be funded through the Royalties for Regions program and will be solely for regional companies, I think. It will, it will only be available to regionally based companies and will apply to businesses seeking to supply both resource projects and state government agencies. In conclusion, can I thank you for your attendance? I'm sure you'll find today's workshop to be a worthwhile event. I have got written here that we'll have questions and ask answers following the event, but I'm told now we won't have. So I'm sure any presenters then will be quite happy if you've got a question, if you just put your hand up and they'll deal with them as they go. Thanks very much.